Alright everybody, welcome back to Starfield, and we need to go talk to, uh, some lady. We also need to go down to the wells. Um, because I believe you can sell contraband at the Trade Authority. I have a feeling today's going to be a great day. You have a Don't weird you agree? outfit. I wonder if I'll miss New Atlantis when Tony and I leave. No, probably not. How's it going? Oh, hi there. I'm doing great. How about you? I've been struggling to find meaning in my life. Hmm. We've all been there, I think. Maybe you just need to find a goal to strive towards. I've been trying to save up enough money so that I can go explore the settled systems with my boyfriend, Tony. I think we're finally getting close. No offense, but you look a little bit tired. Really? Well, I guess you're right. I'm feeling a bit run down. I really love my job, but it's hard work and long hours. I could definitely use the Terracino from Terra Brew right now. I can get you one, it's no trouble. Really? That's so sweet. I really appreciate it. What? Anything you recommend doing in New Atlantis? Well, that depends. Are you a foodie or a shopper? I perform more illicit activities. Hmm, I guess I won't ask. But there is a place called The Well that might be more your style. I don't go down there myself. It can be pretty dangerous. You want to leave New Atlantis? Why? Tony and I want to see what else is out there. I love my job, but there has to be more to life than just being a janitor in New Atlantis. What about you? Have you gone on any adventures? I'm working with Constellation to hunt down artifacts. Whoa. I have no idea what that means, but <laughs> that sounds really important. I'll keep my eyes peeled for any artifacts, okay? Take care of yourself. Okay, so we can get her a coffee. I swear that better lead to something. <laughs> I could use a coffee. She's on a different planet. Needed diplomatic visas since the colony war. The law's the law, sir. And that one's still on the books. Always good to see another bag. Scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Okay. Let's see if we can get a drink for the lady. Excuse me. Hope life, hope life is treating you well. You're in the right place. Is it terribly espresso? It was cappuccino, wasn't it? Stop by any. Terra Brew Cappuccino. Time you'd like to catch up. What? Hello. Pardon? It 
If it belongs on your ship, there is a bit more in the back. If you're... Oh, please, take a look. Oh, wait. Oh, please, take a look. Wonder if she... If she has notes. Tale of Two Cities history. Story of Heavens and Light of the Stars. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. Hope life is treating you well. Good to see you again. Sure thing. What can I get you? Catch you later. Okay, yeah, I didn't think yes. that was gonna be it. Uh, maybe we'd have to go down to the well. Hello, like and decision, hi there. They Welcome to Terror. I keep certainly, please. Oh. I'm a manager. I should be managing. Yes. What? Well, manager. Think you can manage to make a premium cappuccino, double dairy, and no whip? I don't appreciate your tone. And no, I will not make whatever it is you just said. Because this place is a disorganized mess. What you asked me to do is literally impossible. Oh, I understand impossible. Fine. You want to organize? There's a mop in the back. See if you can't organize a little floor cleaning operation. Outrageous! Do I look like a barista to you? Not now. Can't you see how busy I am? If you'd like a cup of coffee, please speak to one of our cashiers. Well... will all lead one day I'm gonna leave New Atlantis for good I'm so excited to see Tony after work oh, thank you so much soon I'll be coursing with bountiful energy I'll be the most enthusiastic janitor in New Atlantis <laughs> here take this I found it while I was cleaning I figured you might find a use for it thanks again Really appreciate it. A hundred credits? Not too bad. Found a box of pens the other day. <laughs> You'd be amazed at what people leave lying around. Take care. I don't know why I found that hilarious. Oh, you gave me this. Okay. Look, now our mass is 200. What? Yeah, something was weird. I don't know what it was. Okay. Alright, let's go to... Uh, the well. I'd like to get rid of those three contraband items, and they're worth quite a bit. Galbank, UC distribution. get there.
Maybe you can get that to point us to the nearest restaurant. Oh, Park. you want to eat? It's pretty cool. This is where it just was. Okay, so commercial districts in mass. Let's go to residential. Let's see... Do I have anything that takes me there? Let's see if this gets me there. Is it the lodge? I, th 
think the lodge, you can get to it from underneath, right? Oh, yeah, or you can get to it from here. Oh, thank God I found that. I, I literally passed it like seven times. This elevator. Just delivering stuff. All right, let's go to Trade Authority. Nice to meet you. you too. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a free star ranger. Sure, you're a kid. One thing that I am hoping is that. Me putting it in my, uh, with like the captain's storage or whatever, doesn't mean I can't sell from the ship. Trade Authority has access to goods and services no one else does. No one. Of course, of course. It does. So because I put that in the captain's like thing, I cannot sell from it. Need anything else? You know where to find us. All over the settled systems. If you got anything valuable on you, keep it close. <laughs> Never know. That sucks, but let's see if we can go grab it really quick because I really need to get it out of my inventory. Where 
Captain Elijah. It is. and then blew up. Here we go. If there's something you need, no matter. Of course, of course. Yes. Ah, uh, I have thirteen of these. All right, we saw the heretic writings, the xenomorphic attack. She has eight more thousand. So. Now she has nothing. Okay. Let's see about. Be my guest. If she has anything to buy. Mineral survey. Abandoned anatomy shipment. Okay. Calibrated Star Roamer pack. It's pretty good. Whoops. I almost bought something. buy weapons because I know that I will find them. Be my guest. So we still have eight of these. And they're the only people that Pleasure dealing with you.
It's cliche, okay. but it's true. Everything has a price. <laughs> I can't be caught with that. I'm sick of having to just pay a fine for having contraband. Hello. To my crew position. Okay, so we're trying to find a lady about a route. Um, let's see, where does that put us? Whoa. I mean, Cheyenne is only level one. It's just straight down here. Oh, is it going to be the same for... Anything, let's just do it. Oh, you have to clear the route. Try jumping to a closer system. I mean, we're right... Here. Okay. Gotcha. What did we just get? Talk to Alvin Lopez on drums one. Someone named Alvin Lopez is sending a distress call asking for help from List. I could drop by and investigate. Well, let's see. That's right there. Unavailable to scan. Oh, 
Oops. We're coming, buddy. world seen better days. I wonder if it's always looked like this. Okay, so there's only seven resources. I'm not afraid to use this to defend my home and my family. But you sure as hell don't look like any spacer I've seen before. You broadcast made it sound like you're in trouble. So let me get this straight. You heard a distress call and you flew all the way down here. What are you, some sort of priest or good Samaritan? I didn't know people like you were real. But I got a heap load of problems. And I'm willing to pay my share for the help. A reward is nice, but I'm happy to help. I don't know what game you're playing, but I guess I'm in. Used to be four families that list help set up stakes in this system. We rarely saw eye to eye in the best of times, and believe me true, these ain't the best of times. Spacers started raiding and it's been getting worse. Only a matter of time before they end us all. <laughs> Unless you're willing to help some hard-working, pig-headed settlers out. Spaces are a plague on the settled systems. No arguments here. The spacers have taken out the family's list satellites. So we can't even talk to each other. Isolate and eliminate a classic tale. You fix the Lopez satellite and I'll open a secure channel and we can sync up and get the lay of the land. And then get all of our satellites operational. Uh, why haven't you fixed it? Why do you need these list satellites? No. It might be I'm getting caught up in the moment. But I actually feel... <laughs> Optimistic for once. Thanks. It's... So the only thing I don't like with dialogue stuff... Oh, temperature. Is, um... Wait, why don't we need the ship? Comfortably warm around here. Um... Yeah, why's it telling me to go... I don't know, weird. When dialogue has like, oh, why do you, why is this important? No, it's obvious why it's important. We don't need to... I feel like those are kind of just wasted and filler uh, dialogues. And almost any RPG with dialogue options has it. Hello? Talk to Alvin. He's in charge. Uh, negative 15 from uh, aliens. It's better on a lot of stuff. The only thing is corrosive and airborne. I'm gonna put it on, check it out. High probability of significant deposit of Zena near the surface. Recommend follow by survey view.
Someone responded to the distress call? Okay, so seven. All right, let's go. We'll go to this one and then head down. Want well, to tell you what? Actually, greetings, Captain. Hello. This, for some reason, says we need to get into the ship. You're looking as glorious as ever. Thank you. Thank you. I really want him to come on the missions with us, but... We have to have this lady until we complete some stuff. And I want to complete that so we can get rid of her. Um... But I'm really interested in all this size stuff. As a heavenly celestial, it must feel good for you to see your family. What the hell's going on? You ran out of luck. Oh, whoops. Like I said, I need to really get used to the space stuff. satellites. You do hear me, right? Hello? You now that's a weight off time. my shoulders. While this is happening, it's gonna take um, some time dealing with someone competent. I don't suppose you want a job working I can't hydroponics. Move. No one ever says yes to that. That is an absolutely awful system. I repaired it, get a transmission. I can't move and I can't fire while that's happening. That is awful. Is it weird that I still get nervous about
Yeah. You have to kill Turn these fireworks when you are to do it. Space. At a bare minimum, a shooting star would be nice. Wrong place, wrong time. I don't think we can do this right now. Um, we may honestly just need a better ship because there's three of them at one time and we just can't. Um, do it. Hopefully when we take off it doesn't automatically do that because we're fucked. Because there's no... So the thing about the dogfights in space that I've noticed, there's no sort of dodging out of the way of enemy missiles. It's literally just if you can put out more damage than you can take in that amount of time. And we stove the starter ship with no upgrades um, against a level 10. We're level 8, but the ship isn't. You know what I mean? Um... So I honestly do not know how to um, get out of that.
Oops. I keep hitting show me, and I'm thinking, oh, it's going to show me a path that I can take. So we're going to go ahead and do the grunt work mission, the one I wanted to do a while ago. Um, And once our let's see, we got two traits, four fauna, three floral. The only way we're doing some of these space battles with more than just one ship, I think is going to be to upgrade the ship, or get a different one. Fire up your hands, Scanner. I bet you'll find plenty here to catalogue. Antique videotape. What? Something's been through here recently. Tau Gourmet Vision Statement. Since the dawn of the agrarian revolution 10,000 plus years ago, humanity has been trying to speedily process some growing food and getting it onto plates. But that's always come at the cost of quality and led to horrific practices like industrial farming, which leads to corners cut and ultimately a worse product. And we've all just accepted it. We live in a freeze-dried age, but we don't have to. Tao Gourmet is going to change that. We're going to make fresh food cheap and available everywhere. We're going to let our livestock and crops grow as nature intended and use smart automation to harvest and prepare them at the peak of freshness and deliver them with such speeds that our clients won't ever go back to use freezing dried, freeze dried again. It's a big task, and accomplishing it is going to take focus, innovation, and dedication. Are you up to the challenge of changing how the settled system eats? Then let's get started. Cote Codillo. The plan. We're standing in the middle of an unfinished masterpiece here. The UC military came in put down some incredible machinery that they then barely used and promptly left it to rot the moment the war ended. Now, 20 years later, we're here with an incredible opportunity. Updating this place is going to take some serious work. We're all going to be pulling double, triple, quadruple duty around here. So if you're going through a tough moment, please remember everyone else probably is too. It also means that if you're in a place where you can 
lighten someone else's load, please do. Equally important are these scheduled breaks. These are built into your workload. So if you are on a break, hour, day, week, or uh, you better sit your ass down and breathe. Take in the scenery, think about something that's not work. If you got a long spell, go back to New Atlantis and blow off some steam. Good ideas come from expected places, and remaking how food works in the subtle system is going to take a lot of good ideas. Also of critical importance, survival training is not optional. It's just us on this planet, and while the UC is aware we're out here, every one of us needs to know how to survive out here on our own should the unthinkable happen. Finally, if you've ever got an issue of any kind, reach out to the relevant area owner. If you and said area owner can't come to an agreement, feel free to grab me, Cody. Areas of ownership, Co Cody, I guess that's how you would say it. General vision, crop, livestock selection, vendor coordination, inter-expertise, arbitration, EN system design, implementation, automation, programming, Maria, facility restoration, defense installation, facility, <clears throat> facility maintenance, automation, maintenance, Andre, crop, livestock cultivation, recipe generation, keeping us all alive, food related, Lambert, keeping us all alive, security related, survival training, chores list. So yes, we're planning to remake food as we know it, but we're also all living in close quarters a long way from any other human beings, which means your parents aren't here to clean up after you. Everyone's got rotating chores, do them without being asked. Cody Laundry, Ian, decluttering common spaces, Maria Trash, incineration, Andre, composting, Lambert, weapon care. This one doesn't rotate until the rest of us are firearms certed. Night Watch Rotation, Cody, Ian, Maria, Andre, Lambert. Maria with a thing. But left everything in place. Well, there was a dead I person know, outside. Wasn't the so. crimson feed. On the toilet? Rhapsody on Windy Night. The following is a passage from T.S. Eliot's Rhapsody on a Windy Night, one of the poet's earliest, earlier almost cynical works. The lamp hummed. Regard the moon. The loon nigarde. I ain't reading that. Uh, she winks a feeble eye. She smiles into corners. She smooths the hair of the grass. The moon has lost her memory. A washed out smallpox cracks her face. Her head twists a paper rose. That smell of dust in old cologne, she is alone, with all the old nocturnal smells that cross and cross across her brain. Okay. Take that for now. Ah. Now we seem to be pretty stocked up at all times at the moment on first aid. The new Atlantean permanently grants the recipe for the deep food item. Hell yeah.
to make alien jerky. Accuracy, recoil, control, and range. Wow, the weight of it. I don't even know if I like it yet, so. Hair trigger installs a light trigger pull for increased fire. Oh, this is more damage. Oh, I forget. We need mods. To Three. Dialing in your weapon for maximum efficiency. Mm -hmm. Hard. With all the explosives, I think we can kill it. Something's been through here recently that left everything in place. Well, at least we know it wasn't the Crimson Fleet. Frankenstein, letter one to Miss Seville, England, St. Petersburg, December 11th, 17. You will rejoice to hear that no disaster has accompanied the commencement of an enterprise which you have regarded with such evil forebodings. 
I arrived here yesterday, and my first task is to assure my dear sister of my welfare and increasing confidence in the success of my undertaking. Mary Wollstonecraft, Shelley's 1818 foundational science fiction work, continues on recounting the tale of Dr. Victor Frankenstein and his creation. Got terminal. Job logs. Uh, okay, power back on, test, test, hello, Tau Seti. Good God, going 45 hours a day working through the night. It took all the Model A's we had to hand a full week to get... What? Model A's we had on hand a full week to get this place scrubbed properly. Military sure was in a rush to get out of here after the colony war ended, I guess. Finally don't have to wear my breather indoors, one building down. Just wrapped getting the prototypes installed and run through diagnostics. Everything looks good so far. The new age of clean kill meat production begins today. I don't want to jinx it, but the prototypes are working as expected. Better, maybe. We've had multiple successful tests able to save all the scraps we, we'd expect it to. I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but this may work. Tower Gourmet might just change things. Well, yeah, it did. So what do we got here? It's too clean to be one of the settlers. Or a pirate. You see on patrol, maybe? You'll make my day if you said you were a shock trooper out for a stroll. Actually, the Vanguard sent me, though they failed to mention how bad things were. Vanguard, huh? Yeah, I expect they didn't. I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. A terramorph. One of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths with. And this one, well, it's something of an anomaly. Possibly a worrying one. I can't believe that a terramorph did all this damage. I mean, I've heard the stories, but to see the decimation firsthand. So with your voice. Let's see. What kind of anomaly are we talking here? Terramorphs have a unique growth cycle. They're usually only found on worlds that have been long colonized by humanity. But Tau said he's too young to have one. Yet here it is. I came looking for an explanation and found all this. Wait, are all the settlers dead then? I managed to scope out a fair bit of the facility before it found me. If there are any survivors of the attack, they're long gone. Sounds like I could use my help then. <laughs> I sure could. Because to confirm my suspicions about this creature, I'm going to need a tissue sample from it. And to get that, I need its corpse. But there is a way we can give ourselves an edge against this thing. The plant security system. The admin terminal's here in this building, but it needs its connection reset. And as I found out, that's not a one-person job. But if you can make it to the security outpost and restore the connection, I think I can get things back online. See if the settlers left us any other tools. Um, let's see. What can you tell me about this security system? The settlers outfitted most of the buildings with turrets at some point. Not sure how many are still operable, but at least a few appeared to be in fighting shape. And there were also some sensors scattered around the facility that I didn't recognize. But those are honestly all just educated guesses until we get the connection reset. Where can I find the security outpost? 
It's the building in the middle of the facility. The terminal in there should allow you to grant me access to the system as a whole. Then we can see about getting things back online. All right. Good. Once I see the connection reset, I'll get things underway on my end. Take care of yourself out there. And make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample. I haven't even seen it. Let's see, connection status, reset the connection. Let's see, automated defenses, damage detected. Mm. Okay. Offline, security logs, equipment dropped today, additional materials for the livestock, tracking system, Ian's cooking up. A couple predators came over the ridge last night. Maria was up, so she took a couple shots at them, drove them off. Those turrets can't get here soon enough. Got the turrets delivered at long last. Once those are installed, no one needs to night watch anymore. Our lives are about to get a whole lot better. Took multiple days on ladders, but the turrets are hooked up and ready to go. Goodbye, night shift. I may have been hasty, turned the things on for the first time last night and blew out the grid. Rewiring starts today. Okay, a couple more tests of the system. And I think we're finally ready to prime for prime time. All the automation they're trying to build into this place draws a lot more power than we initially planned for. Some technical materials and more excitedly feed dropped off today. Finally getting perishables at long last. Seems like this might be truly happening. Connection restored. I'll make this quick. Hmm. Plant's turrets took a beating. But I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings, and you'll lead it right into a crossfire. Hello. I wish I'd found this earlier. Those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Should let you keep tabs on how close the terror is. Junk. But it's not connected to this network. There should be a terminal in the adjoining room. Tune it to 183.5. Ooh, a lawgiver. Tune the livestock to 185, okay. Ooh, value 3,000. Build logs, Tal Gourmet. Okay, I think we're finally ready to give this a real test. The frequency needs to be calibrated to the size of the stock, though, so we'll need to get some general measurements of the creatures once they arrive. But if this works, if could mean a new era in open range farming, we'll be able to function without fences. True free range. We're gonna make so much damn money. Building's finally got their hearing back. Everyone's finally got their hearing back. So I think we can go for the test number two. Our initial hopes for range and distance might have been a bit ambitious, but we've at least got the fundamentals down. Turn on system, have the signal beam directly into your personal radio, letting you know the location of nearby critters. Next up, improving how many animals we can track at once and how far we can track them. Trackers reading green. And what's that sound? The security lockdown is active. Shit. Stop. Stop whatever you're doing and get in cover. It's on the move. Directly, if you can avoid it. The kill lanes, they're set up 
but need power. There's breakers on each of the buildings you can throw to get them live. Once they're online, lead the Terramorph towards the lights and watch the fireworks. Give it hell, Vanguard. Okay, so I guess this is outside. Stuck. Where were the... There were two crates. Oh, mine covered. Yeah, okay. So this one... Where's our other coachman? Okay, so we don't need this one. Don't need that. We just got the lawgiver. That's kind of like a sniper, I'm guessing.
what she's doing. This still has some value, you know. Tracker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding or... Wait. You did it, didn't you? <laughs> Heavens above, you just flatlined a terror more. Mm hmm I believe the word you're looking for are... Thank you for saving my ass. Yep, all taken care of. Uh, trying to sound so surprised. No offense intended. Now, I've just known whole marine squads who couldn't take down a Terramorph. To do it yourself? Uh, that's something else. You didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did you? Here you go. All right. I spotted a microscope downstairs. Let's see if we can't get to the bottom of this. I really wish I could remember where the boxes were. Oh, it was right here. It was right above. That's hilarious. Do have a one. Oh, maybe they were in here. This one's too difficult, of course. Now I'm caring too much. This equipment? Shh, I need to focus. We don't have. Okay, we can use a two. There's only one two, and it's not gonna work there, so this one is not it. Okay, so with this one, when you can use a three, not that one. Then we need another four. Uh -huh. 
Okay, so one, two, three, four. I got lucky with this one because I did not do it correctly. It's not set. Ooh. Up to do a proper analysis of our sample. But this terramorph being here of all places, it doesn't make sense. Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Pets, livestock, pests. But terramorphs? They're different. To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Yet somehow, they follow us. So when humans settle a world, 70 to 100 years later, terramorphs tend to just appear. No one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Talcetti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? That seems awfully implausible. Which means we're either looking at a truly strange murder or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be catastrophic. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. Hmm. That feels like a big leap. Terramorphs have taken down other colonies. They have. They even took down an entire city once. A place called Londinian had to be quarantined due to a massive outbreak during the colony war. It's the only known loss of that scale, but it's the reason why any change in our relationship with these creatures needs to be taken very seriously. Hmm. How does no one know how terramorphs get on a human world? Aren't they kind of hard to miss? Well, they're not exactly buying tickets and flying coach. The theory is that they're spread by some kind of egg or seed that's able to evade our detection. But how the hell an undetectable egg turns into a terramorph without anyone noticing is a question no one's ever found an answer to. And it's why what's happened here could be real bad news for the rest of human civilization. Hmm. Sounds like we need to do something quick. You're right. We just need more information first. Time was, I had access to one of the best repositories of Terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking, if I can figure how to access it. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed, get confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. Me. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? Yeah, I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some favors. See if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. <sighs> Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. <laughs> Clear it with your commander first if you have to. You can even show them this. My gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanan is worried there could be more attacks on the horizon. They should recognize the name. Why would my commander know who you are? Are you with the UC military too? I was. Long time ago. Family tradition. But I know some of the folks from my old unit moved into the vanguard. Couple even owe me favors. If I'm lucky, your commander is one of them. 
Don't worry, I'll make sure my commander agrees. Oh, you don't understand what a weight off my shoulders that is. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what that means. I'm not sure exactly where to find him, but last I heard, he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia. Bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. And here. It's not exactly a bounty, but you certainly deserve them. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars, at least. Now please, go check in with your commander. We need to know what we're dealing with. Return to make commander tell you, okay. So we got some stuff as well. Protect, suppress side star. Yes. I want this so badly. So let's see. Are these not the same? This one's only 15. Wait, what? It's an Eon. So Side Star is another di a different pistol? What the hell? It looks a lot like this. Okay. We well, use it so it's 458 and 17. That's 475. Seven, seven, seven. I just realized I can just look at that. No, this is, uses 27 caliber. And that uses 43 ultra mag. So nothing else uses that 777 pistol. Okay, this uses 43 ultra mag. And so does this. This does 43. This is 110. Alright, we'll see. Uh, I am encumbered though. What I think is, get, oh my god, um, we've got somebody maybe putting, if you're overloaded we should stop and prioritize what we're carrying, Sidonia is an, want to see what I'm carrying? Or maybe trying to sneak them onto here. Huh. Talk to you later. There's so much aid, I really don't.
drunk. Oh, I think it, it could be, you know, or, or possibly like an alien situation where, you know, Whale and Yutani is trying to militarize the xenomorph. Um, someone could just be trying to do the same thing with these terramorphs, and they just can't get them under control. What the hell? That makes no sense to where it is on our mini-map. I think you would know if, you know, one of these groups, like the Val Run or the Spacers, um, would have anything to do with it. You know, I don't think they would be able to keep that uh, a secret for too long. Look who's back. All set with that probationary mission? We can do your debrief and formally welcome you into the Vanguard whenever you're ready. I need your permission to deliver a Terramorph sample, a Terramorph tissue sample to Mars. A Terror? What? How did you walk away with the Terramorph tissue sample running comms repairs? What happened to the settlers? Things didn't go as advertised. Only one alive was a researcher who gave me a sample and a gene tag. Gene tag. Let me see that. Hmm, Sanan. I know that name. Let me check the database. Huh. A lot of this data's been classified. Here we go. Service record. Wow. That's a lot of commendations. Seems like she served with distinction as co head of a UC Xeno Weapons Division. Faced tribunal at the end of the colony war was dismissed from duty. Guess that's why I'd heard the name before. If she's former Xeno Warfare, though, well, we can at least be sure she knows her aliens. Hmm. So this might actually be an urgent mission, then. Certainly seems that way. Did your survivor, Hadrian, did she mention why she thinks this sample is so special? She's not sure what it means. She wants a Dr. Walker on Mars to analyze it. Confirms it's a threat. She's afraid there could be more attacks like this one that wiped out the people of Tau City. They were credited for it. That's all the reason I need. <laughs> I... I see. Well, this is one of the more surprising debriefs I've ever been a part of. But if Hadrian Sinan thinks this sample needs to get to Mars, 
Then we're gonna make sure it gets to Mars. I'll take care of the clearances and ensure you get your credits. Consider these your first official orders. And here, so everyone knows you're working with the Vanguard. Welcome to the Navy, Captain. Vanguard's also got some custom ship modifications. Yes. You'll be cleared for access to them next time you're down at the spaceport. Talk to ship services. Now, if there wasn't anything else, I'd suggest you move out. Join the UC Vanguard. Man, you've gave, given me so much crap now. <sighs> Delivering devils. Um, and I know people have been trying to weaponize all these aliens before, but that was just a uh, a small little, you know, group on that on the Crete planet. But um, I think this one could be a little more than that. It's actually pretty good. Their helmets pretty good as well. But their pack sucks. So this one gives us oh, it gives us plus 40 carry capacity. <sighs> I need it. Um, Where'd I get this? Yeah, their pack sucks. Damn. This one is very good except for everything at the top. Hmm. Yeah, and their helmet, except for a little bit of thermal and a good bit of radiation, is better. This one also gives us plus 20% oxygen capacity. But we need to go sell some stuff. Can we sell it to the spaceport? I don't know. Let's go to the commercial district. I don't think we're really selling anything down here. I'm enjoying this side quest a lot, by the way. Very interesting. Oh, I don't want to steal from it. If you don't see what you want, feel free to ask. Oh, please, take a look. See, I really like the recon one, but the other ones... 61, 7, 7, 6. Well, it is actually better than the Vanguard one. The radiation and airborne are way better. Well, actually, hmm. I 
this one weighs more. It's just not as good, sorry guys. I should be using these. Okay. That's only, f I mean, it's four pounds. So here's the thing, I have a ton of stuff that does this exact same thing. Just get rid of those. Cause Ah, uh, where was it? Yeah, I have this one that does that. Appreciate the business. Where to next? Anything I can help you with? And here's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Oh, I'd like to view and modify my ships. I'm sure you can find something you like. Oh, this is if I want to buy a ship. I have 101,000. Rambler. Galileo. Value 132,000. Achilles. 66,000. Not too bad. Ekana Hall. And Shield Breaker. $279,000. Okay. No problem. Uh, let's see. I really need to upgrade the shield. Ship upgrade mo mode allows you to make improvements to your ship without needing to worry about where modules should be placed. Some upgrades may have level or skill requirements. Multiple upgrades can be made and their cost will be added up at the end of the session. So 3,000 for this, which only, it only upgrades it by one.
plus the cannon, the missiles. Suppressor? What the hell? Oh, this ups it by two. So why isn't it letting me... There we go. That was weird. Grav drives, reactors. White Dwarf Engine. Engine Thrust Maneuvering, Engine Health. 11,000. The Grav Drives are already pretty good, but they can be very good with this one. It's not that much. The reactors. So what do the reactors? Okay, so the health repair rate, power generated, hull, crew capacity is one, eight thousand. And then should we get another weapon? This is the laser, which I don't really use. The missile launcher doesn't really do whole lot, so we could up that. Hmm. But this is, these are the only, t well, these three. Hmm. No, they don't really do a whole lot. Most of them actually suck. Let's check out the Missiles. This one's decent, but that's 13,000. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is laser. Why was it giving me missiles? Weird. So it's this is a negative on the range. Um, the only thing is when the mass gets to the red, I feel like that's bad. Confirm and all items will be moved to the cargo hold. Modify a ship. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. How can I be of service, Captain? So, do we have to... I like to think of myself as your emotional support human. Okay. Crazy guy. Do we have to do anything... Like, are they already on there? Is my question.
Why the hell do I have... Oh, are these just things that are on here? <laughs> okay. parts. Okay, I think everything is on there. Um, laser. Oh yeah, okay, so it's telling me. Okay, cool. There we go. Going to Mars. Scan unavailable? Come on now. No flora, primordial, primordial flora, no fauna. Sidonia, Mars mech factory. You would think there would be trumpets wherever you go. Prepare to be scanned for contraband. And we're done. Enjoy Sidonia. Oh yeah, we did come here for the undercover one too. In Sidonia. Ah, I cherish these visits to the forgotten corners of the United Colonies. Oh, what a lovely view of the Martian sky. Frankly, I'm a bit surprised to find such a delightful spot in this rather drab city. We're on my- oh god. You can really jump on- Heat leeches in the engine. Heat leeches on the hull. Multiple leeches in the grab drive. Suppose that would explain the brownouts. So, what's this going to run? There are no other surprises. Mid five figures. Five figures? Five? Fine. Do it. I'll be at the bar. Find me when it's done. We're on it, sir. Ooh.
Why would I want any of this? Wait. Whatever. Got anything you need to offload? Hey, what can I do for you? Sure, how about it? Let's see if they have um, anything better. No. Your stuff sucks. Alright guys, we are in Sidonia, which is where we are going to end it. Humanity is stepping stone to the stars. Found uh, a clutch of heat leeches, uh, breeding in the utility section the other day. Not gonna be able to get that image out of my head for a while. <laughs> okay. Alright guys, hope you're enjoying it though. I'll see ya. Bye.